everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on this, uh, I don't know, what I call an amazing, amazing sports car from Italy, this Loncia Fulvia 1.3. It's the S model, right? We're going to look at some details on the car. We're going to see the quality of paint. We're going to look at restoration, upgrades, and just, I got to tell you what, man, this car is one beautifully styled car. When you tell people you have a Loncia, uh, they're like, no way, how did you get that, or whatever. It's amongst other supermodels in this showroom here. We just happen to have, how about that, another one right next to it. I think we have most of them in the country, and that's what we do. We get them uh, restored in Italy. We go through the, the hoops to get them here. It's a lot of work to get the car here, but once we get it here uh, and do our thing, it's, uh, it's just an amazing piece. This one here in Corsa Red uh, and, and the Campanola wheels, the driving lights. So this in particular right here, this one's had the bumpers removed. It comes with the car. The bumpers can go back on if you want them. It was just part of the styling here, just a little different. We did uh, grill in black, just some little touch-up details or whatever. But as we walk around the car, we're going to look at things like new glass and new gaskets and wiper arms and chrome trim and, and fender flares and brand new wheels and tires and brakes and stuff like that because what you want is you want to be able to get in the car and make a turnkey. You want to get in the car and go for a drive. You don't want to get it home and then spend another year working on it and what have you. Get that out of your life. You only live once, man. Get in this thing and let's roll. So having said that, let's check out this beautiful, beautiful paint and we'll go from there. All right, so let's take a look at this here. So we're talking about cars that are, you know, when you see imports like this uh, from Italy, a lot of people don't understand that you still have to restore it just like an American muscle car right? We're talking about 1976, right? We're talking about uh, 45 years later. Uh, and, and 45 years is not always kind on a car. However, this car was beautiful to begin with and it's had a light restoration because it was already a great piece to start with. You don't want to start with a basket case. In this case here, we have beautiful red paints that's been show waxed and detailed. And not only that, it's been clear coated as well and then color sanded and buffed. And just check out how crisp all the letters are. The crisper the letters are in there, the better the quality of the paint. All right, so let's take a peek under here. And Why do you want to take a peek under here? Because you know what? You're going to want to go to a car show. You're just going to want to do that. And why? Because most people have never seen one of these cars. They just haven't. And to be able to see one up close, they're going to want to see the guts. What makes an Italian car? What makes a Loncia the what is a Loncia? So for instance, like this engine here, it's 1.3 liters. They tell them, well, that's not a, uh, an, a seven or eight liter Hemi. You're absolutely right, but it doesn't weigh that. It weighs one quarter of what uh, a muscle car weighs. And on top of it, it does have a Hemi head. It is aluminum here. It does have twin side draft Solexes on here, right? The packaging in here is amazing. The radiator is here. The engine is sideways, driving the front wheels through here. So the power delivery is amazing. These are rally cars. These one rallies all over. Why? Because the power, right? All of the weight of the engine is over the driving wheel. So you get way less wheel spin. So this, the corner speed of this car is amazing and as you go out and you get on the gas because you have the weight on here very much like a 911. People talk about the way a 911 handles because the engine is over the driving rear wheels. This just happens to be up front. All right, so this is really where the styling of this car comes in. The front end is great, but the back end is another styling dream, dream. The way the taillights go out like this to make it look like it's a larger car when it's really not, right? This exhaust here is all new. However, you know, Mike, you might consider this, maybe we get a twin tip muffler that has a little kick up to it right there. That might add a whole nother level of sport to the car. That would be easy to install. Just ask us to get that done and uh, we could pull that off here. So when we talk about the detail, the undercarriage pictures, you saw that's all detailed underneath, right? All right, so let's take a peek in here. Even little stuff like the catch works the way it's supposed to. All of this is painted properly, new fresh matte, color match spare tire is in here. I believe, and I don't know for sure, but I believe that this tire could be uh, period correct. New gaskets, new trunk lock, all this little stuff. You say, well, Tony, isn't a car supposed to be like that? Yes, it's supposed to be like that, but they're not all like that. You know why? Because people take shortcuts in this car here. It seems to me to be just a, a super solid car to start with, so it didn't require a lot, a lot of extra work. And to close the trunk, when little stuff like that works the way it's supposed to, that's a good sign. All right, so come join me in here because this is, uh, I don't know, this is really one of the nicest uh, Italian cockpits out there. And I'll just, let me just take a second and show you why. So when you get to this level car, the S, we move up from a four speed to a five speed, right? This three spoke wheel, 
is an upgrade. It's a Momo wheel, but the gauges are not an upgrade. They're 200 kilometer, hour, kilometer Jaeger gauges, right? 7,000 RPM tech with a 6,500 RPM red line, right? This car was designed to go fast. It was designed to work well. And as I look around here, I see the styling. The seats are beautiful. The headliner is new. The wood on the dash is great. And I always like to point out this. When I see it working, I say, what a big deal is that the clock is working on there. And you say, well, Tony, isn't the clock supposed to work? Yes, but the clock didn't work two years after the car was new, right? And the fact that somebody went and made that work is that little attention to detail. Like we looked at the trunk lock and the trunk uh, prop rod and the detail under the hood, all that little stuff adds up to a much nicer car. All right, so we close up this video. First off, the color combination is fabulous. The restoration we looked at is really good. And then we talk about some little stuff, you know, like Michelin tires and Campanella wheels and a detailed trunk and the fact that the clock works and just these little stuff. And people say, well, uh, why is that important? Well, that's important because somebody spent the time and effort to fix that, then they probably spent the time and the effort to do the rest of the stuff as well, really, really well. And we looked under the hood, how nice it was. You've seen the undercarriage of the car. It's just a great looking car. And you can imagine going to a car show. Most people have never seen this car ever in person. Maybe they've seen it on TV or maybe they've seen it in a book or what have you. When you go to a Cars and Coffee or go out to dinner or something like that, this is definitely going to be front row. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this Launch 1.3 S, S, right? Uh, with a five speed, not a four speed, which is even better. Don't forget, if you would, share the video here. And uh, if you would like it, that would help as well. And call us 301 816 1000, and we'll tell you all about it.